It's 2 o'clock yet another Tuesday. Welcome to Generation C. I am Jamie Lee Loss. And I'm Hanchi Kapofi. Generation C is the show that aims to empower the youth throughout all our three segments, all the way from the zone to the varsity chat room and not forgetting the school corner. Generation C is the show that recaps on the zone, giving you reason why it is the best read on a Tuesday. The Zone is published in the Namibian Sun, Agamina Zaitung, and Republic A. It is International Bandana Day, so I don't know about you, but I'm going to walk down the streets wearing my bandana. For today's interview, we have Ilan Rikre, a grade 10 learner at the Vintuk Gymnasium Private School, but you'll have to stay tuned for that. She's also on our front page as she has won the Youth Kettle Judging Competition. Page 2 is all Libya's Hashikutuva, who recently made waves on social media, implicating him to theft of an approximate total of 114,000. The, the After Break magazine start up run by Rejoice Amutenya and Meha for Amunyela, will be implementing more strict measures to maintain and develop a more secured business mod model. On the other hand, the hashtag shut it all down movement is going strong after Hashikutuva allegedly stole 5,000 US dollars funded by the African Union Youth Envoy. Continuing on page two, be sure to catch our Vox Pop. My Zone asked members of the Okakarara community what they would do if they were a CEO of any organization. We asked them to name one thing they would make compulsory and one thing they would ban in the organization. The feature on page four touches on youth empowerment initiatives and skills and leadership development. Next up is a video of a workshop hosted by Stefan Isak in Malta Hoya with grade 11 and 12 learners. Watch the video to catch and learn more. I loved everything about that video. But on our page 7 is our star teacher of the week. We have a video where our star teacher shares more insight about their journey. Stay tuned. My journey as a teacher all these years was uh, a journey of trials and tribulations. It was a gravel road full of stress, anger, sometimes surprises even, but it was also a road uh, of pride, a road of fun, a road where you have a, a great sense of humor, where you can make your learners laugh sometimes and not so uh, be so strict. Um, along the road, you learn a lot of valuable lessons. You learn to have a lot of patience, uh, a lot of understanding. You uh, have to learn how to deal with learners who have learning disabilities. So you as a teacher must be able to identify these learning disabilities so that you can assist your learners. 
yeah, you also have to be uh, not only a teacher where you have to teach and uh, assess and mark books and write exams, but you uh, must also be a counsellor, a nurse, uh, a very active or attentive listener. Because you know sometimes our learners are so used to wear masks so that you cannot see actually what is going on in their minds or in their hearts or even at their homes. So you as a teacher must be able to identify uh, all these uh, uh, challenges that your learners uh, experience and then see how you can help them. But despite a, a road of stress and discouragement, anger, uh, it was a great, great journey. Uh, because at the end of the year, uh, when you see the results or performance of your learners, then you feel so proud of them. And then you uh, feel so um, glad and it's so rewarding knowing that you have made a difference in even one child's life. So uh, learners are sometimes so in need for that special uh, treatment, special attention. Uh, but in the overcrowded classes nowadays, it's a little bit difficult, but you must try your utmost best uh, to give that special attention, to praise them when necessary, uh, uh, to encourage them, inspire them when necessary. So roads are not always straight and fine and smooth. There must be a speed bump here and a speed bump there. But you must learn to overcome all these challenges. Next up, we have our insightful interview with the beautiful Elandri. So please do stay tuned. Well, if you're just joining us, this is our interview segment and you're watching Generation C. In today's interview segment, we are joined by Ilanri Kruer, a grade 10 learner at Windhoek Gymnasium. How are you doing today? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. All right, so to kickstart today, where did, you, where did your passion for farming start? It started when I go, went to visit my uncle and my aunt on the farm on holidays. Mm. So... Um, you won the cattle competition. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, it was not easy, that I can say. Mm. Um, we, we needed to like place the cattle and judge them. And um, we needed to try to get as accurate and as close to the judges, the qualified judges' as placements. Mm. So um, what did you do? in the competition and can you tell us more about the youth judging competition as well um we just yeah we play uh, we judge the cattle they were um placed in a ring and we need to walk around and mm. see um what what was wrong and judge them and then um yeah all right so what made you decide to participate and what did you enjoy most about this competition um, I heard it from my teacher. Mm. Um, she was just telling me about um, they were farming and then she told me, but why don't you try it? And I told, okay, then I'm going to try it. And um, yes, it was uh, so fun. I made new friends and everything. Mm. And yeah. Right. So what do you do? Or what do you farm with in your farm? In your opinion, is most difficult to farm with as well? Um, I farm with Kalari Reds and I have some, a few Brahman um, cattle and um, I think what makes it very difficult, uh, um, uh, not long ago, like two or three weeks ago, they slaughtered to mm. one of my cattle and then of my father's. So I think drought and theft is mo is makes it very difficult. All right. So um, do you think it is important for the youth to get involved in farming and why do you think it's important as well? Yes, definitely. Um, it is farming that provides for the country after all. Mm. So, yes, I think it will be important to do to um, uh, engage in farming. All right. So, do you have any final comments for our viewers? Um, yes, uh, it's very fun, um, and I learned so much. And yeah. <laughs> All right, you heard it yourself from Irani Kruer, a great 10 learner at the Ventuk Gymnasium.
I don't know about you, Ancho, but I loved everything about the interview. I might as well just become a farmer. Girl, you know, I'm, going, I'm about to get my own farm. <laughs> well, what an informative zone edition that was. Be sure to stay tuned to find out more and what is happening in the schools in the school corner. Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of The School's Corner. I am Jeanette Nenkavu. And I am Martha Akwenye. And this segment brings you all the school news from around the country. This week, we had Dana Sechobaba's Gymnasium and Westside High School first in line in Dana Sech. Look at what a beautiful front page they have, but let us just see what they have to say in the video. Now we have Hobaba's Gymnasium and wow! I must say I'm quite impressed. They have put in so much effort. We love to see it. And now we're going to watch a clip that we are going to insert. I is Alida here, the new school of Van Gebouwers van Nausen. I am my son and in my year of the year of the year of the I am in this beautiful land geboren, and I have now 24 years in South Africa in December decided to myself to be and to here in my fatherland to plant. My background is hopefully in business. Ik in Zuid-Afrika na 16 jaar in die corporatieve wereld besluit om my eie school te koop en toe na 8 jaar in een gewapende roof bij ons huis in Johannesburg verlede jaar het ek besluit om aanzoek te doen vir hierdie posiesie by Gebabels Genasien. Ek geloof ek is dier God hierin gestuur om een groot verschil te kom maak en ek kan nie wacht om dit te doen nie. Ek het in Zuid-Afrika my eie bezigheidsschool Futurepreneurs wat vir kinders levensvaardighede en financiële geletterdheid aanleer. School gaan oor baie meer as akademie. Ons moet kinders holistisch ontwikkel. Daarom het ek reeds een hele paar nieuwe voorstelle gemaakt en ons begin volgende jaar nieuwe vakke aanbied soos gasvryheidsstudies, bezigheidsstudies, motorwerktuigkunde en een hele paar ander technische vakke. Ek werk hard aan schoolgees en trots. Ons het juist vandag een netbaldag waar ons onderwijsers teen die Classic Clash netbal span en teen ons graad 12 leerlinge speel en aan ons morgen weer een boerenspoordag met die gesinne van ons school. Ek glo ons gemeenskap is uitgehonger, versaambees en verpret en plezier. Hou hier die school dop! Amazing content right there. Now we take a look at what Westside High School has for you guys. This is a gooseberry. It's orange, it's round, it feels sticky in my hand. Thank you for the gooseberry. Thank you for the gooseberry. Fantastic school corner we just had there. I certainly agree. Now we head over to Varsity chat room. Do make sure to join their Telegram channel to read more. Bye. I started university 20th of September 2021. Um, how long is the course? Uh, the course is exactly one year um, and it is a master's in public health and health promotion. I specifically chose the course because um, this university um, offers a course or this course in public health, but it has the aspect of public 
of, 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 of health promotion, which speaks to going beyond just understanding what public health is, but also bringing it into the communities. So this university has that practical aspect that I was looking for in a course about public health, but also it had a, it has a more, um, it has a more applicable, applicable, it has a lot of emphasis on the application of what you learn because the schools, um, is Swansea University, their research is acclaimed for making real life impact. So I like the fact that the university is not only focused on learning or teaching, but on how those teachings can really apply into real life and impact the community. That's what I liked about it. Um, how is the process of applying to a foreign country? The process was actually quite convenient. Um, everything was done online. Uh, so I'm here with a Shivening Scholarship, but with that brings us to the end of yet another fun and insightful F episode of Generation C. So from us, it's Let's Boma with our bandanas. Bye, guys. <laughs>